welcome to my channel. If you're new, what's up? My name is Jace and this will be my first ever What I Eat In A Day video. So I was gluten free since 17. That's when I officially stopped eating gluten. And I went vegan in September 2017. So a lot of people ask me, is, is your diet not really hard? Um, do not struggle to eat and I say well look at me for starters like I'm not a small skinny girl I'm I'm big like and um, so they always say first well look at me do I look like I'm malnourished do I look like I find it hard to get food so I kind of then challenge with myself will I do these videos will I not do these videos because I already do daily vlogs but I just decided you know what I'm going to do it because um, people out there do struggle when they first start this diet because they're like what am I gonna eat but it's really simple to be honest it really is there's nothing hard about it um, just go to your local supper stores supermarkets and go to your free from sections is my first advice normally a supermarket will have a free from section in the like the frozen section and then they'll have one up like beside the bread and stuff or like the condiments well that's the way it is in Tesco and if you're really stuck I would suggest online shopping because then you can literally read all the ingredients on in it so yeah I'm gonna get right into it and sorry that I look like I just got out of bed because I just got out of bed and there's no way I was putting on makeup and nice clothes to sit and make food and eat for everybody. So I apologize. Sorry, not sorry. But yeah, let's get into breakfast. Okay, so I always start the day with two slices of this bread. As you can see, Tesco's free from, it says free from gluten, wheat, milk and egg. So if we go down under the ingredients here. You can read them all if you want. You know what I mean? There's free from gluten, wheat, egg, milk, egg. Suitable for vegans. So I always have two slices of this bread. And then this is the spread that I use. As you can see there, it says vegan, and then in the front, gluten free. So this is really nice. I get either this or Vital Life. I've actually got Vital Life in the fridge. So they're the two butters that I mainly go between. They're both really tasty. So I have the kettle on in the morning. I always have a green tea with my toast. And then I wait about half an hour and then I have a smoothie. So there you are, this is what I have first thing in the morning. smoothie now so I'm making it for two adults and a child so I always use two bananas for two adults and then Melanie has like a small bit but if you're looking just for yourself I would do one banana like one large banana 
These are actually small. There, there's my big one. So two large bananas and for one person, one large banana. Yay. So I just half it. A wee easy peel orange. my smoothies I like to use frozen fruit so I'll be using the Tesco mixed fruit and I don't do any measuring I just kind of I just kind of decide on, on the minutes see if I think that'll be enough there So I use these um, Super Greens powder by Bioglin Superfoods. You get these in Holland and Barrett's and they're just really good for like getting all your extra nutrients. If you want to read the back, I'll like zoom in. You can pause this video and read the back if you wish. And then the front is the same. Gluten free, dairy free, vegan, nut free, soy free. And I just put like one and a half spoons on. And I'm using some almond milk. Now I'm putting this up to 750 milliliters. Mass cup today. Mayonnaise, mine, mayonnaise, or whichever. So I always take a little first. That's good. I always give Melanie like a wee bit. I don't give her a lot. The only reason why I give her this is because um, she gets upset that she doesn't get a share. So.
Right, so we're back for lunchtime and it's 2.35 p.m. I haven't drank anything or eaten anything since I last filmed, so I'm gonna make the lunch now. I'm really hungry. I like eating at this time because I don't be too lightheaded for Zumba and then I don't be too stuffed. So it's like a happy medium. And sorry for all the background noise there. But yeah, I'm gonna prepare the lunch. I think I'm gonna have a pita pocket and like mixed beans or something. But I will show you anyway. Right, so I'm gonna be using these bee free pita, pita breads. They're dairy free, wheat free, egg free, soy free, nut free. Suitable for vegans. You know what I mean. They're gluten free, so yeah. They're so delicious as well. This is what they look like. I'm going to be toasting this and then cutting it up on the top and then putting all the ingredients inside. So I'm going to start by adding some olive oil. About that much. So I'm going to add some frozen peas, frozen garden peas. About that much. Some frozen mushroom. It doesn't have to be frozen, it can be fresh if you want. So I'm going to cut up one tomato, one salad tomato. Let this all cook together now and then when it's all cooked together I'm going to add some taco mixed beans and there's the ingredients right okay so I'm going to add the taco beans now I'm just going to cut in half a pen That's about half a ton in there. I'm going to leave the other half for dinner tonight. And I'm going to pop my pita bread in here. So now that that's all cooked, I'm going to add some seasoning. I'm going to use the season all. And just a wee sprinkle of that. And we sprinkle garlic, garlic granules. Feeling a bit fancy, I'm going to put in a few jalapeno slices. So I'm going to check this out. I'm going to put a bit of the sunflower spread on here. Ooh, it's burning! Oh, it's really burning. Scolding myself.
I'm so excited to eat this. Oh my gosh. Yum. enjoyed that. That was so good. Mmm. Stuffed to the brands. I'm gonna make myself a green tea now as well. Oh. Cool. I normally have a green tea with each meal. I'll let these know anyway as they go but I do normally have green tea with my meal. I'm gonna have a wee drink of water now here as well because it was kind of hot like spicy. So I'm gonna have like a cup full of water and a green tea. So I will see you at dinner time. That'll be after Zumba. So Zumba is Zumba is one hour. And it's really high impact working out, dancing, sort of like rhythmic movements. So I'll be doing that and I'll drink where's my bottles now to show you? I don't know where the bottles are. So this is my bottle here. I'll be drinking one of these and I also squeeze in a full lemon under the water. But I will show you that before I leave. But as of now I'm going to have a cup of water and a cup of green tea. So I'm feeling a bit peckish, so before Zumba I'm going to actually eat a banana. It's a medium sized banana and I had another cup of green tea there while I was editing. So, And today I've had a total of three cups of green tea so far. But I just want to eat this so I have energy. Because that's the worst thing when you're exercising and you just feel like dizzy and like you just feel drained so this always is good for like a wee boost I'm in here I'm in here I'm in here. Hello. Hello. Hey. Do you want an orange? Ooh. Here. Guys. Here. So 
that's me now guys. I'm gonna take my water over with me and I will see you when I get back. So I'm back home and I'm gonna make the dinner guys. I am so starving. Like, you have no idea. If you exercise regularly, you will know that you be starving after a workout. So, Amelia are gonna make rice or quinoa, I haven't decided. I'm torn. Let me see how much quinoa I have. No, like, this is pre-cooked quinoa and then I have normal stuff. It takes like 20 minutes to cook. And I don't, I don't think I can wait 20 minutes. Like, I do not think I can wait 20 minutes to eat. Because I am so greedy. So I think I'm going to have basmati rice and then I'm thinking on doing like a potato Mediterranean mix because I buy a bag, I'll show you now. So I buy this from Tesco's and what does it say, crispy potato and seasoned vegetable mix and it's literally got so much on it. It's got potato, onion, green pepper, sunflower oil, red pepper, yellow pepper, tomato, garlic, parsley, salt, and black pepper. And it says suitable for, suitable for vegans in the back. And it's obviously gluten free because it is just all veg. And yeah, there's no warnings anywhere on this package. So we're good to go. And I never get cramps or anything eating this. So yeah, I'm going to have this. And I'm thinking on putting the mushrooms that you seen earlier, put that on with it. And I might put... Oh no, I've got the half ton of taco beans, so I'm going to use that as well. So yeah, and rice. So let's get into dinner because I'm starving. Right, here we go. So about a tablespoon of oil. My mushrooms. And I'm going to put some cayenne spice. Garlic. Garlic. Another stir. Might add a wee bit more mushroom. So let's put on our hubs. Let's put on our hubs. Right, so this is the rice that I use. It's just plain basmati from Tesco's, one kg. And it says that it cooks for 10 to 12 minutes. So what I always do, this is probably really weird, but I always give myself a cup of rice. Or maybe lost green. Hello. You're welcome. So for every cup of rice, I always do three cups of water. Water. 
one. And a wee smudging of sea salt. Like not a lot of this now. I thought about that much in. So I'm going to let that cook for now and I'll come back in the next step. Just for extra, extra salt. Voltage. You'll notice I kind of use all the same ingredients just to keep it simpler for myself. I'm going to put in some jalapenos. Nummy nummy is right now, honey. Mmm, mummy's so hungry. Mummy mm -hmm. is starving me hunger. I'm going to let that simmer again and I'll be back when I'm putting the taco beans in. Oh my gosh guys the smell of this is making me so hungry. Literally like three minutes to go I'd say. Three minutes to go, three minutes to go. So my fiance and my daughter is having chips, London McCartney, uh, rolls, yeah, and mushy peas. Most nights they they eat different from me because um, my diet's quite low calorie. So most nights I would do them like a different dinner. It's all vegan their dinner, but them too would eat gluten free. It's just me that's gluten free and vegan. So they tend to have a different dinner from me. Unless it's like a tofu curry or something we'll all eat it or like a vegetable spaghetti or something like that but if it's if it's like mixed veg and rice or quinoa or whatever I just normally make them something different for me. Oh my god I'm so hungry. So I'm gonna bring that off the heat, turn the heat off. Oh my gosh yes! in my belly. Oh my gosh. Mama.
so that's me done now and I couldn't possibly eat another bite I made way too much rice so the next time I'm gonna just do half a cup of rice instead but I am completely stuffed but the meal was completely delicious okay guys um, this is gonna be the end of the video because it's night time and since dinner I haven't eaten I'm done eating for the day so dinner was my last meal and I couldn't finish it. It was so full in, but it was so yummy. But yeah, I really enjoyed making this video. I'm definitely going to make more. I'm going to try and aim for three a week. So please give me a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And yeah, I'm going to have a cup of water now before I go to bed and relax, have some downtime. So yeah, that was what I eat in a day as a gluten-free vegan and I really hope you enjoyed it because I enjoyed it so yeah I will see you guys in the next one thank you so much for watching bye